Hi, my name is Than B. Hi, I'm Annalisa Stevenson. And I'm Manny Contreras. And our group is doing our lesson plan on global warming. Okay, so we're gonna first get to know Horse Man Elementary. Horse Man Elementary is a diverse international school that teaches students with, from pre-kindergarten to fifth grade. Their mission statement is their aim is to develop inquiring, knowledgeable, and caring young people who will create a better and more peaceful world through the intercultural and understanding and respect. We're preparing today's students to be today for thinkers and leaders and creators of tomorrow. Alrighty, now we're gonna to get to know the students. As you can see on the screen, we have student demographics. There are 435 total students at the school. Um, we've included an ethnic background pie chart as well as a pie chart to show the learning of the students. We have EL, 50, that makes 51%, that's English learners. Then we have EO, which is English only, and then special education. So, linguistic and cultural descriptions of the students. Horace Mann Elementary is located in San Jose, California, which is predominantly culturally diverse. However, the Hispanic and Latin ethnicity makes up 79% of the student population with the majority of the student population coming from a Hispanic Latin background, 50% of the students are English learners, 39% are English only spoken, and the remainder 9% of the students are in special education. For the lesson summary, we will start our lesson off with a PowerPoint teaching the student about global warming. Moving on to the next step, we will teach them how to graph data and calculate mean, median, and mode. This will help them see the Earth's rising temperature due to global warming. After the math worksheet, the class will come together to reflect and discuss what they have learned. Lastly, we have a translated version in Spanish for the worksheet so the student can take, can take home to do it with their family who does not speak English. This will give them more practice at home and their family can also pitch in to help. For the student, for the lesson overview, student objectives would be to find the medium, to find the mean, the medium and mode for the temperature, learn how to calculate, teach students what it, what is a mean, medium and mode, and how to calculate using illustrations if possible. Vocabulary, um, mean, medium, and mode, climate change, carbon footprint, recycle, reuse, temperature, global warming, statistics. The common core standards representing interpret the data um, you can find on that the ccss.math.content. Uh, the graph points and coordinated planes to solve the real world and mathematical problems. You can also find them on the ccss.math.content. For the activity worksheet, we created a worksheet where the student will be able to find the median and mode and graph them out. Um, looking at the year and temperature where they would graph it and the questions below will ask them, what is the mean, median, and mode? We have included an English and translated Spanish version for the student who wants to bring this home to their parents for more practice. The translated version is for the student whose guardian are ESL learners. Similar to the activity worksheet, the student reflection worksheet is also in, there's also a Spanish translated version. We wanted the reflection worksheet to help us get to know the student better, to get to know if they're having any challenges uh, on the lesson and what they liked and disliked about the lesson. Um, for lesson resources, um, worksheet one was data graphing and calculating mean, median, and mode. And then the reflection questionnaire, which is a set of questions to respond to after the activity to 
converse with their peers about what they learn applied to the real world. Alrighty, and now on to the mathematical content domain. So we have upper elementary content domain, um, briefly described by students will be able to understand, comprehend data concepts and utilize statistical thinking skills. They will also be able to apply geometric measurement knowledge and reasoning. They will be able to graph points from given data in the activity. Students will also learn mathematical vocabulary and terminology of the social justice issue and students will utilize critical thinking skills and engage in meaningful conversations with their peers. And then now on to secondary elementary. Students will understand the concepts of statistics and probability, and students will apply knowledge of numbers and quantity. And now on to the standards that are addressed. So we have English language, development standards and it's briefed into um, interacting in meaningful ways and then the subtopics are collaborative, interpretive, and productive. Listed below that are subgroups that you can also find on the ELD website for a more in-depth information and overview. Next we have UDL principles. So the first, I guess, big topic is the principle of representation. I have included guideline two, language and symbols. Then we also have checkpoint 2.1 and checkpoint 2.4. Then we move on to guideline three, which is comprehension. And I've included checkpoint 3.1 and checkpoint 3.2. Um, these are principles that the students are subconsciously learning, but don't learn in class. So then the second, I guess, big topic is principle of action and expression. Guideline four includes physical action, which is checkpoint 4.1. And then they will also learn guideline six, which are executive functions included is checkpoint 6.1. We also have principle of engagement, guideline seven. Um, which is recruiting interest with checkpoint 7.2. Then we have guideline eight and guideline nine, which includes checkpoint 8.3, 9.1, 9.2, and 9.3. Okay, so next we're doing the social justice outcomes and the global warming crisis. For the outcomes, um, our identity five, I know my family and I do things the same and different from other people and groups. And I know how to use what I learned from home, school and other places that matter to me. Diversity six, I like knowing people who are like me and different from me and I treat each person with respect. Diversity 10, I know how, I know that the way groups of people are treated today and the way they have been treated in the past is a part of what makes them who they are. Action 17. I know it's important for me to stand up for myself and for others. And I know how to get help if I need ideas on how to do this. Justice 15. I know about the actions of people and groups who have worked throughout history to bring more justice and fairness in the world. The, and on to the global warming crisis. The social justice topics topic for this lesson is based on the global warming crisis from a hundred year chart, which is broken down into decades of how, how much or less the globe has been warming up due to po pollution. By presenting the mean, medium and mode lesson, which is an introduction to statistics, finding the mean, <clears throat> medium and mode for global warming assignment will help set up the students to not only identify the mean, medium, and mode, but also engage them to think past math and into a more of a social justice conversation about ways to prevent global warming by taking steps with recycling, reusing, and reducing products in their own communities. For taking action, the reflection question worksheet will help the student critically think of ideas and actions to reduce their carbon footprint. 
The student will be sent home with both English and Spanish flyers about recycling, reducing, and reusing for parents to get involved. Stakeholder communication. Mathematics learning will be based on the introduction to statistics, the main medium and mode. And the social justice material will reflect from a climate change during the last 100 years, which the students will break down and be able to predict climate behaviors based on the last 100 years and ways to change the patterns by recycling, reusing, reducing and reusing by by having a translated version of the worksheet in Spanish that the students can bring home to go over with their family. By doing this, it will help us communicate with the families and what the students are learning in class. The translated worksheet lets the students practice what they're learning in class at home with their parents who are not English speakers. And now on to our reflection and assessment of our presentation. After writing up the lesson, one thing that we could have added was to create a more hands-on group activity for the students. It would be an activity that the students could bring home to promote an engaging conversation with their family about what they learned during the lesson and how they could apply it to the real world besides the worksheet and reflection questions that they were given in class. We, to facilitate a more conducive environment for both students in and out of the classroom, even with disabilities, we've included two versions of each worksheet in English and Spanish translation for the students, guardians who do not predominantly speak or are not familiar with English. And we can also have those worksheets um, translated into a different language if needed. And we are also having the students pair into groups to facilitate an easier learning environment where they can help and ask their peers any questions or guidance relating to the activity. This is where they will fill out that reflection worksheet. And that is it for our presentation. Thank you.